Hi there, my name is Jane. Welcome to my channel. This is Loopy Mabel Crochet. Today's video is a tutorial and it's going to be for my latest creation, which is on Mabel here. So if it's something you'd like to crochet along with me, please stay tuned. welcome back so this video is an in-depth tutorial so I would highly recommend you purchase the PDF pattern the link is in the description box below and once you've downloaded and printed it off you can then choose your size there's four sizes in the pattern you can then choose your size and then you can crochet along with me to the size that's suitable for you and also as my way of saying thank you again for your support if you do decide to purchase the PDF pattern there is a discount code which you can use towards that purchase and the discount code is DIAMOND20. That code is also in the box below so please feel free to use that code, get your 20% off the PDF pattern and once you've got it downloaded and printed off we can get going and we can crochet along together and obviously you don't have to purchase the pattern but bear in mind I will only be doing the medium size in the tutorial and because it is quite an in-depth pattern with sleeves and um, a pattern repeat. I would recommend that you do have the paper pattern in front of you, but I will be going through it step by step as usual for you to follow along to. So don't worry if you don't want to purchase the pattern. Let's get our crochet hook, let's get our yarn and let's make this fabulous crochet sweater together. Obviously this is the one I've made already and we're going to make another one for the tutorial and the yarn I'm going to be using the exact same yarn as this one but in this gorgeous wild rose shade and again it's a Stylecraft special yarn and it's Aran with wool but any Aran weight yarn will be absolutely fine and you'll need approximately 600 grams. 5mm crochet hook, darning needles to sew in your ends and some scissors and also and I highly recommend you use the stitch markers especially if you're new to crochet they are a great way of just marking the beginning and ending of your rows and you will never miss that stitch that can sometimes be missed. So for this tutorial I'm going to be doing size medium so this design is quite a loose fitting sloppy type of relaxed fit jumper sweater but as I say all the sizes are found in the pdf pattern. So we're going to be moving on to obviously the front. We're going to start with the front and we're going to chain 94. Now don't forget if you're following the pattern you do the chain numbers of the size that you have chosen. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So you just need to continue till you've got your 94 chains and I shall see you back then. So I've got my 94 chains. So working from the pattern, if you've got the pattern in front of you, we're going to start off with the foundation row and we're only going to do this foundation row at the beginning of the front and the beginning of the back and then when you're following the pattern after that for the 12 rows of pattern repeat you would then follow rows 1 to 12. This tutorial is in UK terms so I know a lot of you are watching from the United States and your terminology is different to ours. The stitches are exactly the same but obviously when I say treble it will be double crochet for you guys and when I say double crochet it will be single crochet. So the pattern foundation row says insert your hook into the second chain from your hook. So count back so not the first chain. This one on your hook counts doesn't count as anything. So we'll count back so not the first chain but we're going to insert into that second chain and we're going to work a treble. So yarn over and insert your hook into that second chain, yarn over and pull through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two and that's your first treble. We're going to insert our stitch marker here and then we're going to work nine trebles. So we're going to go now into our next chain, yarn over, insert your hook and work your next treble, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and we're just going to repeat this for nine trebles, inserting your hook into each chain along, 
down into the next one, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So continue until you've done another nine. So we're not going to count this first one that we did. It's telling us to work a further nine trebles. So we're going to do nine more. So one, two, three, four. I need to do five more trebles. And then the pattern says chain one. So simply yarn over, pull through, that's your chain one and then it's skip one so we're going to skip the next chain and, and then work 11 trebles so yarn over skip that one and work 11 trebles inserting your hook so there we've done our 11 trebles and then we're going to chain one and skip one so chain one skip one and work another 11 trebles so skip one insert your hook into the next chain and work 11 more trebles So there's our next set of 11 trebles and then it says chain one and skip one. So we're just going to repeat that again all the way along now. So it says repeat to the last 10 stitches. So we're going to work 11 trebles, we're going to chain one, we're going to skip one. Work 11 trebles, chain one, skip one, all the way to the last 10 stitches and I shall see you there. So I'm towards the end of the foundation row and I'm just going to do our last chain one skip one and the pattern says to work 10 trebles so yarn over don't forget to skip one insert your hook into the next one and work your last 10 trebles and the last one there And your work should look something like this. So you can see the, the chain spaces that we've created by chaining and skipping a stitch. It creates that lovely chain space. And you will be working into the chain spaces throughout the pattern. These chain spaces do count as a stitch. And the beginning of every row, we're going to chain one and turn. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. So chain one and turn. So for row two, into that same stitch, right at the beginning, we're going to work into, always at the beginning of every row, we're going to work into that very first stitch. Ignore that chain one that we've just done, working into that first stitch, yarn over, insert your hook down into that first stitch and work a treble. And as always, we're going to insert our stitch marker. And then the pattern says work eight trebles. So let's work eight trebles down into the next, work one, down into the next, two, three, four, so we've done our eight our eight trebles and it says chain one and then skip one so we're going to skip that next treble and we're going to insert our hook into the chain space and work a treble so in yarn over insert your hook into that chain space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through so you've created a chain space again by doing your skip one chain one skip one We've gone down into that, worked into that chain space and the, we're now going to chain one again. We're going to skip one, 
we're going to go down into the next. So down into the next and work your treble. So we've created the second part, beginning of the diamond. And we're going to continue and work nine trebles. So nine trebles in total. So two, three, four, five, nine. We're going to chain one. We're going to skip that stitch and we're going to go down to the chain space and work a treble. Chain one, skip that stitch and work nine trebles. And we're going to repeat this all the way along. So continue on to the end of the row, working your nine trebles, chain one, skip one, one treble, chain one, skip one, nine trebles, all the way to the last chain space and I shall see you there. So I've come to the end of row two, I've done my nine trebles, chain one, skip one, treble, chain one, and we're going to skip one and we're going to finish off with nine trebles. And we have feline company with us. You can hear purring. Close without fail. My little four-legged helper here. Right, so coming to the end. Now, if you can see, we've put our stitch marker in, didn't we, from the first row? If we hadn't put our stitch marker in, you could probably quite easy have missed that stitch, quite easy. And that's where a lot of beginner crochets go wrong. You lose that first stitch on the row and the pattern will never be right. So that's why I always use, recommend that you use a stitch marker. So we know we've got that one last stitch to work in there. So remove my stitch marker and then yarn over, insert into that stitch and work that last treble. So we should have nine trebles on the end. Chain one and turn as usual. And we're going to treble down into that first stitch. Always into that first stitch we're going to work our treble. And we're going to insert our stitch marker. So for row three we're going to work seven trebles. So one, two, There's our seven trebles. So there's eight in total, but we've just worked seven. And we're going to chain one, skip one, work down into that chain space and work a treble. And then we're going to work a treble into that next treble. And then a treble into that next chain space. So we've created three trebles there. And as you can see, the diamond is forming so we need to chain one, we need to skip one, then we need to work down in to the next one. And continue with seven trebles. And we've come to the next part of the diamond. So we're going to chain one, skip that one, work down into that chain space and work a treble. Work a treble into the next stitch. Work a treble into that chain space. Chain one, skip one, work our next set of seven trebles. And you can see it's just a repeat all the way along. So whatever you do for your first section of your diamond, you're going to repeat all the way along. So obviously we're going to work over the 12 rows. So once you've got the 12 rows, it's just basically a repeat. But once you've formed your first 12 rows and you've got your diamond formed, you'll be able to follow a lot easier from then on out. So let's just keep going and do our seven trebles. So we're gonna chain one, skip one, treble into that chain space, treble into the next one, and then treble down into the next chain space, and then we chain one, skip one, and then we're going to work our seven trebles. So if I leave you to follow along the rest of this row, 
work in your seven trebles, chain one, skip one, treble, 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 chain one, skip one, seven trebles. I shall see you somewhere towards the end and we'll move on to row three. Okay, so I've come to the end of row three almost. So I've just got to finish off with the final set of trebles. And for ease of reference, whatever set of trebles that you did on this beginning part will always be the same on the end part. So if you remember, we did one treble and then we did seven, two, four, six, seven. So we've got eight trebles in total. We should be finishing off with eight trebles at the end here. So if you've got eight here and then you've only got seven here, you've gone wrong, or you've got eight here and you've got nine here, you, you've gone wrong. So it is a good reference. So wherever you start off here, finish off on this side. So we know we've got to finish off with our chain one, skip one, and finish off with eight trebles. So let's just finish off row three. And into that last one and work your last treble. And again, chain one and turn. Row four, treble down into that first stitch. Let's add our stitch marker. And row four tells us to work six trebles. So yarn over and pull through. So we've got six trebles plus our first treble. So now we know we've got seven trebles there. So we know we're gonna finish with seven trebles on the end. And we're gonna chain one, skip one, work down to that chain space and work a treble. Then work a treble over the next three stitches. Then work a treble into that chain space. So we've created five trebles. Chain one, skip one, and work five trebles. Chain one, insert your hook into the chain space, and work your treble, and then three trebles over the next three stitches. down into that chain space and you've worked your five trebles. Chain one, skip one, work your five trebles. So we're gonna continue this all the way along for row four. So working five trebles, chain one, skip one, work your five trebles over those five stitches. Chain one, skip one, five trebles all the way along until we come to the last section and we're gonna finish off with our seven trebles. So I shall see you somewhere towards the end of row four. Okay, so at the end of row four, so I'm just going to chain one, skip one, and finish off with seven trebles. And that's row four. And you can see that the diamond is starting to appear. So let's move on to row five. Chain one and turn and treble into that very first stitch. Insert your stitch marker. And row five, it tells us to work five trebles. So insert your hook, work five trebles. And don't forget you can pause the video as many times as you like, pause, rewind as many times as you like. So if you think I'm going too fast, just pause the video until you've done my instruction and then obviously press play again and then keep up with me that way. So don't feel like you have to keep up with me at the same speed as me. The whole idea is that you work at your pace. So we've done our five and then it says chain one, skip one, work a treble into that chain space and then work five trebles. So one, then a treble into the chain space, and then we're gonna chain one and skip one. And we're gonna work three trebles. So skip one and work three. One, two, three, 
two and three. Chain one, skip one, insert your hook and work seven trebles. Chain one, skip one, work three trebles. And then we're going to chain one, skip one. And we're going to continue exactly like this all the way along row five. Chain one, skip one, work your seven trebles. Chain one, skip one, work three trebles. So if you can see, you're going narrower in one section of the diamond and wider in the other section of the diamond. So seven and then three. And you've got your chain spaces in between. So work all the way along and we should be finishing off with six trebles. So I shall see you somewhere around about here. So we're coming to the end of row five. So we're just gonna chain one, skip one, and finish off with our six trebles. Moving on to row six, chain one and turn, and as always, treble down into that first stitch. And then it tells us to work four trebles, so four trebles. Chain one, skip one, work a treble, and then work seven trebles. So we've done a total of nine trebles in total in that section. Chain one, skip one, work one treble, just the one treble. Chain one, skip one, and work another nine trebles. Chain one, skip one, work a treble. Chain one, skip one, down into the chain space and then work all the way along and do your nine trebles. Then it'd be chain one, skip one, one treble. Chain one, skip one, nine trebles. So as you can see, the diamond is getting bigger on this section and it's getting narrower in this section. So we've gone down from three to one stitch in that section. You always should have an odd number in each part of your diamond. You shouldn't have six or eight or four. You'd always be odd. So 11, nine, seven, five, three, and obviously one. So that's a rule of thumb to keep your pattern correct. If you need to check now and then, make sure you've got the right number in each diamond. There should always be an odd number. So if I leave you to work all the way along of row six, I shall see you somewhere around about here and we'll move on to row seven. Okay, so I've come into the end of this row six and we've done our nine trebles, we've done our chain one, we're gonna skip one and we're gonna end on five trebles. So one, chain one and turn and we're moving on to row seven so yarn over and set your hook into the first one as usual and work a treble and let's insert our stitch marker and the pattern says work three trebles so insert your hook and work three more trebles one two three And we're going to chain one, skip one, and work nine trebles, and insert our hook and work a treble into the chain space, and work nine trebles in total. And I'm going to skip one, so we're going to skip that one, that next treble, and treble down into the next chain space. 
and work a further nine trebles. chain one and skip one and continue all the way along so we've chained one we'll skip one and we're going to work a total of 11 in total in that next section chain one skip one then 11 chain one skip one then 11 because for this row we're creating just the one chain space for each diamond now so if i leave you to continue on Chain one, skip one, work 11. Chain one, skip one, work 11. All the way to the end. And I shall see you somewhere around about here and we'll finish off row seven. So we're at the end of row seven and we've just done our last 11 trebles there. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. Chain one, skip one and finish off with four trebles. And that's row seven complete. So if you're following the pattern, we're gonna turn the page and we're gonna move on to row eight. And as always, chain one and turn and treble down into that first stitch. And let's add our stitch marker. And it says to work three trebles. And we're going to work one treble into that chain space and then we're going to chain one skip one and work nine trebles chain one skip one work one treble into that chain space chain one skip one work nine trebles Chain one, skip one, treble into that chain space. And then chain one, skip one, work nine trebles. And I'm just gonna repeat this all the way along. And as you can see, we're now going back up for the other side of the diamonds. Repeat all the way along. So we're doing nine trebles, chain one, skip one, one treble, chain one, skip one, nine trebles, all the way along. I shall see you somewhere around about here and we'll finish off row eight. So pause the video and I shall see you somewhere around about here. So just come to the end of row eight. So we have done two, four, six, eight, nine trebles. We've done our chain one. We're going to skip one and we're going to go down into that chain space and work a treble. And then we're going to finish off with four trebles. So one, So moving on to row nine, chain one and turn and treble down into that first stitch. And the pattern tells us to work four trebles. And then it says a treble into the chain space. Chain one, skip one and then work seven trebles. Chain one, skip one, then work one treble into the chain space, one treble, one treble into the next chain space, chain one, skip one, and work seven trebles. Chain one, skip one, treble into the chain space, treble into the next one, and treble into the chain space, then chain one, skip one. So on row nine, we're just gonna continue on like so. 
chain one, skip one, work seven trebles, chain one, skip one, treble, treble, treble. So you're working into the two chain spaces, chain one, skip one, work seven trebles, chain one, skip one, treble in the chain space, treble, treble in the chain space and continue on like so until we get to somewhere around about here and then we'll complete row nine and then we'll go on to row 10 and we're almost at the end of the diamond pattern repeat and then we'll go from there. So we're just coming to the end of row nine. So we've just done our seven trebles, chain one, skip one. So we're gonna work down into that chain space and work a treble and then finish off with five trebles. And that's row nine. Moving on to row 10, so chain one and turn. And as always, insert your hook into the first stitch and work a treble. Insert your stitch marker. And it then says work five trebles. So let's work five trebles. One treble down into that chain space. Chain one, skip one, and work five trebles. Then chain one, skip one, treble down into that chain space, and work three more trebles. And then treble into that chain space, Chain one, skip one, work five trebles. And we're just gonna complete this all the way along. Five trebles, chain one, skip one, treble into the chain space, three trebles, treble into the chain space, chain one, skip one, five trebles. All the way along and I shall see you somewhere towards the end of row 10 and then we'll move on to row 11. Okay, so I've just finished the five trebles. Chain one, gonna skip one, work a treble into that chain space and then finish off with six trebles. So we're almost there, our diamond is almost complete. So we've got two more rows to go, so let's turn for row 11. So chain one and turn and as always treble down into that very first stitch. And for row 11, the pattern then tells us to work six trebles. Then one treble down into that chain space. Then we're gonna chain one, skip one, and work three trebles. Then we're going to chain one, skip one, treble down into that next chain space and then work five trebles. Treble down into that last chain space there. So in total we are working seven trebles across. Chain one, skip one, work three trebles. Chain one, skip one, work down into the next treble and we'll work seven trebles in total. Last treble there into that chain space. So we've done seven trebles. So we're just gonna repeat this all the way along. So we've just done seven trebles so we're going to chain one skip one and work three trebles chain one skip one work seven trebles we're working into the chain space create the seven trebles chain one skip one and then we're just going to do three trebles so as you can probably gather we're going down again in that section and we're going out in that section so i'll leave you to work all the way along and i shall see you somewhere around here on row 11 and we've got one more row of this 
pattern to do before we do repeats. So I shall see you somewhere around about here. So I've done our three treble, chain one, we're going to skip one, insert our hook into that last chain space, work a treble and then continue with the further seven trebles. So just to double check that we're doing it right, as a quick reminder, what you can do is you can count the number of trebles that you've got at the end of your row and they should equal the same number of trebles that you've got at the beginning of the row. So at the beginning of the row we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we should also have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we know we're okay. So we've got one more row to go. We're going to do row 12. So chain one and turn and work your first treble into that first stitch and the pattern tells us to work another seven trebles. And then the pattern then says one treble into the chain space, chain one, skip one, work one treble, then chain one, skip one, work treble into the chain space and then work a further seven trebles. And then work one more treble into the chain space. So in total, we are working nine trebles, two, four, six, eight, nine trebles. Chain one, skip one, work one treble. Chain one, skip one, and then work nine trebles in total. So there's the nine trebles. So it's seven trebles plus one treble in each chain space either side. So it's nine trebles. And again, chain one, skip one, work one treble, then chain one, skip one, and then we're gonna work nine trebles chain one, skip one, one treble, chain one, skip one, nine trebles, all the way along. And I shall see you towards here and we'll finish off row 12 and then I'll explain to you how you continue on for the rest of the front. Okay, so just come to the end of row 12. So I'm just gonna chain one, skip one, and then we're gonna go down into that last chain space with the treble and we're gonna finish off with eight more trebles. Okay, so that is our diamond pattern. It looks fab, doesn't it? I love it. So all we're gonna do now is repeat these rows. And we're gonna repeat these rows until we've done a total of 48 rows. So 48 rows, we're just gonna repeat the 12 rows that we've just done. So I'll put a time stamp to where you need to rewind the video to if you need to refer to the pattern again. It's not a technical pattern, you just need to ensure that you're doing your chain spaces in the correct place and you'll be able to see more often than not if you've gone wrong because your chain spaces will not look right and your diamonds won't look right. So if you just keep checking as you're going along your rows to make sure that your diamonds are forming correctly. But as I say, I shall refer to the timestamp where you can then rewind your video and do all the 12 rows again. And obviously you're gonna repeat those 12 rows until you've got 48 stitches and you will have four, four full diamonds along the front. So once we've got 48 rows done, I shall join you back here and we will then work on to the next shaping and then that will be the front complete. And I shall see you at the end of row 48. Okay, so I'm just towards the end of row 48. So let's just finish off row 48. Okay, so we're gonna do the next shape and so we're gonna work on the left side of the sweater first. So we're gonna chain one and turn. And we're gonna follow, obviously, the pattern. If you're following along the pattern with your size, you'd obviously do your neck shaping according to the measurements on the pattern. So we're gonna work 
I'm do obviously I'm doing the medium size so I'm going to work over 33 stitches so the first 33 stitches and we're going to work the pattern so I'm just going to treble into the first stitch and continue following the pattern for 33 in total so by now you should be able to follow the diamond pattern so we're just going to follow row one for a total of 33 stitches. Just coming up to the 33rd stitch. So I've got 33 stitches worked and don't forget you have to count the chain spaces that is a stitch. So make sure you've counted them too. So your 33rd stitch, we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work and then we're going to work treble two together. So we're going to go down into our first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, leave it there, yarn over down into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. We've got three left on your hook, yarn over, pull through the three and we've done our decrease. And then we're just going to work all the way to the end of this row. So this will now be row two of the pattern. And then we will finish off when we get to the end. So we're just going to cut the yarn. And that completes the left side of the neck shaping. So now we're going to move on to the other side of the neck shaping. There's our neck shaping there, so we need to count across our stitches we need to pick up our yarn and we're going to work across the rest of this row so we're going to count to stitch 61 so we know that was stitch 33 so we're going to count all the way across to count stitch 61 and we'll just bring the yarn through let's tie it into a loose knot and we'll crochet over that or we can stitch it in later on whichever you prefer i'm going to chain one which doesn't count as a stitch we're going to go down into that same stitch and work a treble and we're just going to work right the way across following the pattern so it'll be row one that we're working on work your way along following the pattern for row one okay so chain one turn the work and we're now going to work the right side of the next shaping so down to that first stitch, work our first treble and we're going to follow the pattern all the way along up towards the last two stitches on the end. So if I leave you to follow row two and I shall see you somewhere towards the end of this final row here and we'll finish off the right side of the neck shaping. So I've got two stitches left. So I'm just going to work part of a treble and then down into that last stitch second part of the treble then yarn over and pull through and we're just going to cut the yarn and that completes the front and the neck shaping looking like this so that completes the front part so following the pattern it says repeat as for the front so you're just going to repeat exactly the same instructions for the front but we do not work any neck shaping for the back and we're going to continue the whole of the section for 51 rows we're not going to do any neck shaping and we're going to do 51 rows rather than 48 rows and i shall see you when you're nearly completed your 51st row so i shall see you then pause the video follow the paper pattern or pause the video and rewind back to the timestamp. Okay, so I've just completed my 51 rows and I'm just going to cut the yarn and fasten off. So you now should have the front with your neck shaping and the back completed. So now we're going to put the jumper together before we can move on to the sleeves. So I'm just going to put the two pieces together and we're going to line up our V stitches 
with the front and the back and we're going to stitch through them to stitch the shoulder seam. So I like to use some of these um, clips just to clip my shoulders together and just clip them together. And we just need to get our darning needle and get some yarn. And we're just going to sew along both the shoulders. So whichever one you choose, doesn't really matter. And if you line up your V stitches, try and show you close up. There is your V stitches. There's one, there's, you can see them lined up. So we're going to insert our needle through one of the V stitches and then back through the adjacent one. And then you know that your shoulder will be lined up beautifully. And I'm going to work over my yarns, but I'm just going to show you. So down into the next, so we've done the first V stitch. You can see the second set of V stitches. So you're just going to put your needle through. I'm going to work over these tails, but you just, if you just continue like this, working through both the V stitches, and then just work your way all the way along through the stitches. And when you get to the end, fasten off, thread your yarn back through, fasten off and do exactly the same for the other side. And once you've completed that, I shall see you back here and then we'll, we'll sew up the sides and then we'll attach our sleeves. Okay, so you should have something looking like this with your neck opening and you've got both your shoulder seams neatly stitched. Obviously this is the right side. That is the wrong side. I need to stitch in my ends. Right, so we're going to do our sleeves now. So we need to sew up the side seam. So we need to count down from the top, from the top 18 rows. So count down 18 rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. And place your stitch marker. And do the same for the other side. So mark that both sides and do exactly the same for the other side and just pop the stitch markers through like so so you've got them together you need right side of the jumper facing so make sure your jumper is like wrong side facing you out and you need to stitch all the way down the side both seams but not including the row that you've got your stitch marker so complete both sides and I shall see you when you've done that and then we'll then work on adding our sleeves to this armhole section Right, so we're going to work on the sleeves now. So there is the armhole that we've got. We've stitched up the sides, up to, but not including our stitch marker. And what we're going to do is we're going to work a treble into the side of each row. So there is our row there. So at the side of the treble, we're going to work two trebles. So we're going to work 36 stitches up this side and then 36 stitches up this side to give us 72 stitches for the size medium. So I'm just going to take my stitch marker out. We don't need that now. And with right side facing us, this is the bottom, the armhole, the underarm section. Just going to attach the yarn. So just pop your hook through. Just secure it with a knot. And we're just going to pick up two trebles for every row. So insert our hook again, back down to that same spot. Yarn over pull through and just chain one, which does not count as a stitch. And then back down into that same stitch, yarn over, insert your hook and work the treble. And I'm going to finish off with the second treble for this when we come back around the other side. So just the one in that one. And onto the next row, you can see the side there of the treble. You're going to insert your hook into there and work two trebles. We're going to do this all the way along. So into the next side there, insert your hook and work two trebles for that row. And again into the next row, work two trebles. I'm just going to do this all the way along, picking up two trebles for each row and continue all the way around the arm 
and we'll finish off with picking up our last treble and we should have 72 trebles. I'm gonna put a stitch marker in that first one that we did, just so we know where we're coming back to. Pause the video and work your two trebles in every row and I shall see you when we're back here and we've got 72 stitches. I've just got one more treble to do. That gives me 72 and I'm just gonna slip stitch to the top of that first treble that we did. So we've got 72 stitches around that armhole area there and this is going to be the beginning of our sleeve and all we're going to do now is repeat rows 1 to 12 for a total of 25 rows and we're just going to follow the pattern as row 1. So the only difference is we're going to be working in a round rather than in rows and we're just going to join in our diamonds all the way so it's going to be continuous diamonds going through. So when you've finished one diamond you're going to create the second diamond so there won't be this spare stitches at the side like we did for the front and the back. So as always we're just going to chain one which does not count as a stitch and down into that first stitch work our first treble and place a stitch marker and referring to the pattern if you've got the pattern we're going to treble six so that's our first one down to the next. So we've got six trebles and then we're going to chain one, skip one and then we're going to go down into the next and work 11 trebles. And then we're going to chain one, skip one and work 11 trebles. I'm just going to repeat this all the way along until we come to the last five stitches and we're going to work five trebles and slip stitch to the top of our first treble that we made. So continue now working your diamond and I shall see you somewhere around about here and we'll slip stitch and go on to round two. Okay, so I've just finished the last 11 trebles, chain one, and we're gonna skip one, and we're left with five trebles. So we're just gonna skip one and work five trebles, and we're just gonna slip stitch to the first stitch. So that's why we need to put our stitch marker in, like so, and that's round one. And all we're gonna do now is continue in the pattern. If you remember, the diamond has 12 rows of the pattern, so we're just gonna work through all the 12 rows. As I said previously, it is easier if you purchase and download the pattern and print it off and then you can refer to it throughout this tutorial. So I highly recommend you download the pattern. But anyway, I shall see you after row 25. Okay, so I'm at the end of row 25. So I've just got finish off. So one last treble to put in there. And then it's gonna slip stitch to the top of that first treble. So the next row we're going to do a row of decrease. So we're going to bring the sleeve in to create that lovely gathered cuff section. So we're going to chain one like we normally do and we're going to work an incomplete treble. So yarn over, insert your hook down to that first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, leave it there, yarn over down into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over, pull through three. So it's a decrease. So we're going to do that on every stitch. So part treble, down into the next, another part treble, yarn over, pull through, down into the next, and down into the next, yarn over, pull through. So we're going to reduce our stitches down from 72 to 36. So if I leave you to continue exactly like this all the way around, reducing your stitches down from 72 to 36 and I shall see you somewhere towards here and we'll slip stitch close and then we'll do our final cuff section. So I've just got a few more stitches to reduce down now so just finish off this section and we're just going to slip stitch to the first one that we did 
if you place your stitch marker you'll be able to see it clearly just slip stitch closed and you should now have this cuff reduced down okay so we've just got one little bit left to go on the sleeve nearly done we've just got to do five more rows and it's really simple so we're just going to chain one like we always do does not count as a stitch and does not count as a stitch and we're going to go down into that same stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and work a double crochet insert our stitch marker if you're watching from the US that would be a single crochet and we're just going to pick up double crochets all the way around in the 36 stitches that we've now got I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that first stitch. We've got our stitch marker. And we're just going to repeat that for another four rounds. So we're just going to do five rounds in total of double crochet. And I shall see you at the end of the fifth row and we'll fasten off. So I've just come to the last few stitches of round five. I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that first stitch that we did. And we're just going to trim the yarn and pull it through and there is our gorgeous gathered cuff so we're just going to do this exactly the same for the other sleeve so i shall put the time stamp for you so you just need to pause the video here rewind to the time stamp and do your second sleeve exactly like you just done so i shall see you when you've done your second sleeve. So now I'm going to move on to finishing off the neck area. So with the back of the jumper facing us, the back of the neck but right side, just need to attach our yarn. So just going to insert my hook into that centre stitch there at the back and pull the yarn through, just tie it into a knot. I'm just going to work all the way around with double crochets, picking up a total of 68 stitches. So 68 stitches in total and we're just going to do three rows of double crochet and then we're going to finish off. So I shall leave you do three rows or over 68 stitches of double crochet. Okay, so I finished my last double crochet there. So I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that first stitch. I'm just going to cut the yarn. And pull through and that completes our diamond sweater and all we're going to do now is sew in our ends and we've now created a gorgeous autumn winter stylish sweater so i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial i hope you've enjoyed crocheting the diamond dream sweater as much as i did making it and creating it for you i'll pop some pictures up of me wearing both this one and that gorgeous rose coloured one that we've just done in the tutorial just to give you an idea of what they look like and obviously I hope you enjoy wearing yours too. As I say if you haven't already got the pattern I highly recommend you download it and the link is in the description box below. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you would like to follow along with me all my crochet designs and my patterns and give me a lovely thumbs up if you did enjoy it and obviously share with all your friends if you think it may be something of interest to them too and I shall see you hopefully on my next crochet tutorial. Until then happy crochet!